Let's revise experimental skills in electromagnetism. We have this experiment in which we have a square loop of wire that's been placed onto a top pan balance. We also have a magnet over here just for the size of the wire. We have connected the wire to a DC power supply, which is a little cell over here. And we also have a variable resistor so that we'll be able to vary the current. The wire is at right-hand angles to the magnetic field, which is going from north to south, and will experience a force due to Fleming's left-hand rule, which will be going downwards. We can use this setup to work out experimentally the magnetic flux density B. Before we start, it will be very important to zero the balance when the current is zero in order to avoid any systematic errors. Then we're going to vary the resistance of the variable resistor in order to change the current. We're going to be measuring the mass readings and then we're going to be converting them to force simply by using F is equal to mg. Our table of results will look like this. We have the current, we've got the mass and finally the conversion to the force. As always, we're going to take multiple readings and take the average. After we're done with this, we're going to plot a graph of the force against the current. Because the equation for the magnetic flux density or the force is F is equal to bill or BL times I, if F is on the Y axis, if I is on the X axis, this means that our gradient M will be equal to B times L, where L is the length of the wire. Note that in this case, L is just this length here, which is perpendicular to the field. We could simply rearrange for the magnetic flux density B, which will be equal to the length divided by the mass. We could also investigate magnetic flux using a very simple setup with something known as a surge coil and a simple magnet. Now a surge coil is just a little coil of wire with some known number of turns. We can often connect this to a data logger or even an oscilloscope to investigate the magnetic flux properties. The typical way of doing this experiment is to immediately move the coil outside of the field and because there's going to be a rate of change of magnetic flux linkage, an EMF will be induced within the coil and be able to measure this with a data logger which will also be taking some time measurements. Typically there will be a graph of the EMF against the time by using Faraday's law EMF is equal to the rate of change of magnetic flux linkage. Our change of magnetic flux linkage is found by multiplying the EMF times the time interval which makes this the area underneath the graph and the area will give us the flux linkage and if we're interested in the magnetic flux all we need to do is divide by the number of turns. Moving on to transformers. This is the transformers equation that we'll need to investigate. In order to do so we typically build our own coils in the lab and then we use AC supply. When we do this in the lab it's vital that we use AC power supply connected to the primary coil because the current will be changing, meaning that the magnetic flux linkage around the primary coil will be changing, meaning that current will be induced in the secondary coil by Faraday's law because there will be a rate of change of magnetic flux linkage. Now to investigate this equation, we use a low voltage, which is an important safety consideration. Typically we record values of the primary and secondary voltage with voltmeters or multimeters and we tend to vary a quantity. This could be different in different questions but for instance you could vary the number of secondary turns and measure the effect it has on the secondary voltage. Every time we vary the number of secondary turns we could calculate the equation ns over np is equal to vs over VP, which would confirm our equation. Additionally, we could also choose to plot a graph. Now, these are just some of the main experimental skills, but to ensure that you get maximum marks on the electromagnetism questions, you need to have a look at my revision video that covers the whole of the theory of electromagnetism, and this video is just over here.